welcome to another short video post as we had this curved Samsung display for two weeks to test part of this Samsung Galaxy Dex station. I also wanted to check out this HDMI connected or DisplayPort connected speakers that I usually don't have because usually I don't buy displays with speakers as their speaker quality is usually not that great either. And I wanted to test if this actually works with Linux. If you are using Linux you may already have noticed the two sound cards that you probably have, the HDMI and another regular connected speaker. I usually find this quite annoying because I don't use this HDMI connected audio and usually it registers as first sound card. It's a little bit annoying for this raw device users like me. Actually, if you take a look in PROC A sound, you will find there are multiple sound cards. So the first one is this HDMI connected thing. You by the way also see with LSPCI that you got two PCI audio devices. First is this Haswell audio controller thing and then also another second HD audio controller. My understanding is they are literally mostly the same, just one is multiplexing the data into the integrated GPU's display port and HDMI transmitter. So I thought I just play this file here with HW colon 0.7 which happens to be the HDMI device this display is going through and I noticed it doesn't play, it's not moving. Sometimes the speakers make a little bit click but that's it and it actually took me quite some while to find out why. Also wanted to show you all these files here, this ELD files are this display connections and in this proc files you will see which of these links is connected and uh, it says even display port, um, vendor product ID and to put a bit rates just for your information. So figuring out why this doesn't play it took quite a while and actually more accidentally I discovered that some high bit def flag files would play and it turns out that if we convert the 16-bit file to 24 or 32 bits, it actually will play. As already expected, the speakers do not sound that great. For some system sounds and light gaming, that probably is enough though. In my opinion, if you change the sound mode to music, it sounds a little bit better. The standard mode is a little bit damp. This music mode adds a little bit more high frequencies. and. Yeah, I did not really finish going through all the layers where this is hanging as I don't have really other displays with speakers. The only thing is our projector. Maybe I take it out another day and see how this is behaving. Whether that's some implementation detail in the display or some bug in the Linux driver right now, I don't know. Today I can only tell you that with 16-bit this link is not moving sound data to the display. And one other strange thing I notice when you open the mixer, when you mute when you mute this channel while music is running, the whole display link gets a little bit irritated. Again, as I have no other reference hardware, I can't tell if this is a display or an Intel graphics driver bug. Anyway, I hope you find this Linux internal videos interesting. You can also leave me comments below what kind of videos you find more interesting, short technical things or longer reviews. I'm always interested to hear your opinion. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come.